next question is from Mario saying, did you know that in Greece, there is a province called Athos that bans entrance to women? It is actually semi-autonomous and governed by the Greek Orthodox Church as a monastic state and is one of the world's two Christian theocracies, the other one being the Vatican. What did you? What do you think that I, as a Greek, can do to help overturn it? Uh, it is hard to fight this because uh, Athos's status as autonomous and church governed is guaranteed by the Greek constitution. Um, well, frankly, I don't know what you can do against this. Seems I actually, like you I can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> change your freaking constitution? Damn. <laughs> Seems like you have to. Um, uh, no, I'm, no. Yeah. Like if, the way you're describing it, seems like uh, you're making it it's seem like it's pretty set impossible. in stone. <laughs> Damn, that's horrible. Um, topple the government? <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, no, wait, we're not encouraging that YouTube. Yeah, no, like, no. I don't YouTube, know. We're like, what not do you, encouraging any illegal. How activities. do you? Okay, it depends. How does how does um, changing the constitution work in uh, in Greece? Like, I don't know. How does the chat? How does that work? I have no idea. It seems like very hard. Um. Wait. So it's like how? It, what, it's so tiny have... though. It's like it. I've I've looked up. I've looked into this. It's this tiny little area. It's basic. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's pretty much just like a, a single property. The, what if you raise an it. army and invade it? Can you do that? <laughs> an army of women. An army Amazonian. of women. Amazonian. Oh, yeah, it's very fitting to Greece. It's very frit fitting to, uh, to, to Greece mythology if you raise an army of an Amaz Amazonian woman to go invade it. By the way, it's called Athos? Like, named, a like, is Athos have anything to do with Athen and Athena? Because if Athos is named mm -hmm. after Athena, it's very hypocritical for a place in the province that is named after a f female goddess, the best female goddess of all, to be fair. True. Right? The sexiest, most intelligent female goddess, even, even better, like, I would have to say, between Athena and Kelly, I pick Athena. I'm sorry. Kelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, seriously. Yeah, obviously. But seriously, if, if Athos is named after Athena, and they don't allow any women in this area. That's like very hypocritical. What? What the hell? Yeah, no. You should. Uh, you should start. A, you should start a campaign named after Athena. How about that? They're saying to, that to Athos has no relation to Athena. Different uh, words. And Mario is also clarifying that apparently the European Union has sued Greece over this, and to oh change God, the constitution, okay. you need an eight one hundred and eighty. Nope. I don't know it's, much about Greek politics, but I do hear that it is messy. So you got you got caught for a second. So you said to change the constitution, you need 180 out of 300 votes in the parliament. Okay, so you're right. Actually, okay. So given Greek needs to, yeah. So here's the thing: Poland has done some things that is not in line with EU's values, and Poland has been threatened to lose a whole bunch of money from this. And Greek, Greece needs a lot of money. They can't afford to be sued by the EU. Yeah, keep. keep oh yeah. <laughs> So keep doing the keep doing the going the EU route. Like keep filing petitions. Uh, yeah, start petitions. Bring this attention to e the people, uh, the heads of EU, and make this embarrassing. I think you should be oh, okay. So the changing the constitution in Greece doesn't seem to be as hard as in the United States. If all if that's all you need, right? I'm pretty sure uh, the parliament. Uh, would most members of a parliament wouldn't want to come off as anti-woman? or anti or also threatening uh, Greece's position in the EU or you know so that that should be yeah there you go there's your answer thank you Maria give Maria give us the answer oops Hara Sultan is here hi Horace saying you you preferring <laughs> Athena over Cali proves your Hindu phobia art <laughs> how dare you sir <sighs> Okay. Okay. To be fair, to be fair, Athena, okay, was a strategic warlord. Okay, she's like she's both a god of war and a god of wisdom. But she's a type of what's the other god of war in, in Greek mythology? I forgot the other one. But the other god of war is like a chaotic war, god of war. Athena is like a very strategic, 
defensive god of war okay and she she can raise armies and she could she's very very strategic and smart okay Callie just goes on a rampage and she can't stop right when she like attacks until she steps she, on her husband <laughs> yeah until she steps on her husband right like one of them is like very elegant okay that's attractive to be honest that's very like attractive in, in its own way but Athena is very elegant very calm uh, okay I'm not Hindu phobic because H Hinduism also has what is uh, Kali an avatar of? What's the Durga? Durga ma. Durga. So Durga is more like there you go. Durga is more like Athena than Kali. Okay. So H Hinduism has its own version of Athena. Okay. But the whole elegant, calm wisdom, not like calm as in submissive. Athena like can calculated, calculated. You know. This, she's a force to be reckoned with, right? Tactical. But she's not like chaotic force. She's like very organized and thoughtful force. Yes, dialed yes. in. No. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.